I am going to make a grilled cheese sandwich in this Dash egg bite maker. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. To make this sandwich, I am using two pieces of bread. I also have some cheddar cheese that I just cut into small strips. You can use any kind of cheese that you have, any kind of cheese that you like. It can be in slices, it can be shredded, um, it can be in small pieces uh, like I have here. This is the cheese that I'm using. It's Lakeview cheese, mild cheddar cheese. You can get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this is real cheese. If you read the ingredients, it's pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, and an anato for color. So that's real cheese. Some of the food being sold as cheese in the Dollar Tree, as well as in other stores, is not real cheese. Uh, it's like processed fake cheese and you definitely want to avoid that if at all possible. The first thing I'm going to do is to plug in this egg bite maker. The blue light just went on which means it has power and it is heating up. Once it is fully heated and ready to cook the blue light will go off. So while this is heating up let's assemble our sandwich. I have my two slices of bread and I am going to just add the cheese to it. Some people like to butter the bread on both sides. Uh, you can do that also, but I am just going to make it as simple and plain as possible. Maybe not as simple and plain as possible because I think I'm going to add some pickles to this grilled cheese so it's not just melted cheese on bread, um, but it'll also uh, have some pickles also. So. There's my cheese. I have two baby dill pickles, which I have sliced up. I'm just gonna add the slices, just to give uh, the sandwich a little more zing and tang. Can I fit one more piece? There we go. So there's the bread with the cheese and the pickles. You could put anything you want on your grilled cheese sandwich, or you could just have plain cheese. And I'm gonna put the other piece of bread on. And we're gonna put this whole sandwich in the egg bite maker, and it will toast and melt the cheese at the same time. Here's the egg bite maker. It's fully heated. The light went off. So let's open that up. I'm gonna be very careful because it's very hot. Putting the sandwich inside. Again, you could you could put butter on here if you want. Um, you could put oil on the pan. You could do anything you want. I'm just demonstrating how you can make it super plain. You could always add to it. So there we go. Let's come back in about two or three minutes and we'll check on it. It's been about two minutes now, so let's check on the sandwich. Starting to get nice and toasted and the cheese is starting to melt. So let's leave it in here another two minutes. I like my toast on the darker side. It's been another two minutes, so let's open this up. That looks really good. So let's unplug the egg bite maker. And I am going to remove the sandwich. Be very careful, use a spatula or a fork or something. And that's how easy it is to make a grilled cheese sandwich in this Dash Egg Bite Maker. Now I'm gonna cut into the sandwich. Look how good that looks. Nice and melty inside, and the outside is nice and crisp. I'm gonna taste it. That's a really nice grilled cheese sandwich. So now that we've seen how quick and easy this is to make, let's talk about the economics of it. So I used, let's say I used half a block of that cheese, so I used 50 cents worth of cheese. I used two small dill pickles, let's say that's 10 cents worth of pickle on this. And then I used two slices of bread. I actually bought this bread at the Dollar Tree. And there are 16 slices of bread in a loaf. 
um, we're using two slices, which is one eighth of a loaf. So let's say another 15 cents on bread. So I use 15 cents, 50 cents, and 10 cents. So for 75 cents, I have a homemade grilled cheese sandwich. That's cheaper than anything similar you can buy in a convenience store or at a fast food restaurant. So these Dash products pay for themselves over time. And even though grilled cheese is not the healthiest food when you make it yourself, it's way healthier than anything you're gonna get at fast food or convenience store. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Let me know in the comments section below what you like to put in your grilled cheese sandwiches. Do you like them plain or do you have any special fillings that you like to include with them? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.